<laughs> it's four o'clock in the morning. This is when William's decided that our day begins. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Someone's flagging already. Didn't tell everyone about that dressing gown. It's so warm. I can't even feel like sometimes I'm like, I hope William's the right temperature because I am none the wiser. <laughs> this is its own climate. Oh dear. Excuse me. No, no. No cameras, please. Please. No, no. <laughs>
quite a lot to do today and it involves this boat here, the cafe boat. The trick with an omelette is, I don't know. <laughs> All my omelettes turn out like scrambled eggs. So we'll see if this one turns out any good. I'm actually pretty pleased with that. Sorry, I'm having to like whisper because those guys are still asleep. Jump some omelette. He's rejected my omelette, but actually it's not that bad. That's quite a good one. It's so snowy. Um, I'm, I'm off to the laundrette. I didn't go yesterday because I thought it'd be too like slippy because you've got to go down a massive hill. I just didn't want to risk it while I had William. But I can't really leave it any longer. I've got, whoops, I'm taking a couple of rubbish bags on the way as well. But um, yeah, I can't really leave it any longer because I have nothing to wear. And not in the sense that like, oh, there's nothing that I want to wear. I literally have nothing in my wardrobe. I took it all to the laundrette. Morning, how are you? <laughs> I think one of the front wheels has got jammed, packed with ice, so I'm uh, wheelbarrowing it, really. Thank you very much. You got oh. out, have you? No. <laughs> oh, thanks so much. Right. Cheers. Bye. That lady thought I'd just left a baby in it and perched on the middle of a snowy hill. <laughs> it's good to know that if William was in here, I, I would probably be getting done for um, something because uh, everyone's like, ooh, ooh, <laughs> like when I'm wobbling about with the pram. Um, but yeah, everyone is so nice here. I just went to get a pastry from the cafe by the laundrette and I didn't have enough like coins. Um, so I said like, oh, I'll make it up. I'll buy other stuff to make it up to a five, which is the card minimum. And she was just like, no, no, just give it next time. You come in. Like, what is the catch, Bollington? Everyone is so nice. I feel like I've got a busy day ahead of me today because some friends of ours are coming up uh, to visit us this weekend and they're coming to stay and they're going to stay on the cafe boat. Mostly, if I can, I want to try and make some curtains because I think that'll make a big difference. It's not that bad actually, is it? Just a case of packing a few things away. I'm worried that um, they're not going to be warm enough. So I'm going to go over to, there's a little boatyard just down the canal. I'm going to go over there and get some more firewood and some coal and some stuff like that and stock this boat up a little bit. And it'd be good just to run the engine on this boat a little bit, just to get some hot water. I'm actually cheered up by be, being on here with this because there's not actually as much to tidy up as I thought. That's not a mega development, but it's not really all that unexpected either. I think that starter battery is kind of on its way out. So... Okay, plan B.
we were really stuck then. It's really shallow. I think it's a really shallow canal in general, the Macclesfield. But especially around here it was really shallow when we were mooring up. We're breaking through some ice, but it's, it's real thin ice. It's more like slush, I'm hoping. A little bit of tuna and pasta for lunch. It doesn't look very appetizing on camera, but it is. And uh, tiredness is setting in. How are you feeling? Weird. I feel like I'm um, living two days today. No. 3 a.m. is not a good wake up time for me. <laughs> to get a starter battery for Holly. Got water coming in now. We're watching Beyonce videos. Back we go. Sorry, I'm sort of half asleep still to be honest. I fell asleep in there for about 20 minutes. And now I don't know what's going on. I'm not sure if I was really ready to start uh, reversing back like this, but it's what I've done. Doing the odd little bit of fending off. Just very lightly. Just because it it's not going perfectly. It's not going badly either. I've also done a, a couple of little fails because I We've got an l -sand, like a toilet, yeah, on this boat that I was supposed to empty and you can do that at the boatyard, but I forgot to bring it. Thanks a lot. They didn't charge me for that l -sand disposal. And they didn't charge me when I filled up with water. They're what you call a real boater's boatyard. Not all of them are like that, but it's nice to appreciate the ones who are. That's the toilet in here now, that's all ready for guests. Although actually, I have to put some of this, I have to put some of this blue stuff in there. It comes in little sachets, this stuff. But it basically, I don't know, stops everything from going too gnarly in there, which I obviously actually forgot to do last time. So that toilet visit just then was a nightmare. <laughs> it was horrendous. I'm just being honest. That's probably the kind of thing that you think, do I really want that out there on the internet? But it's too late. 
I've said it now, and as you guys know, I don't, I don't edit anything out of these videos. It's all in. I actually love uh, this bathroom. It's probably my favourite room on the boat. I just like how kind of compact it is. I like all the little colours and the way it looks. It's just like a really small space, but it feels quite nice in here. That little ivy plant's probably is just having a little moment to itself. I think actually it might be a bit worse than that. It might be dead. And oh, just replace that. Now I'll just tidy, make this house a home a little bit. And another thing I could do is put the new starter battery in and run the engine for a little bit. This is my current situation. The thing is the batteries are heavy. Old battery, new battery. Doing stuff like this, I think it's it's okay in small doses, I think. A bit like gardening or something. You're just doing a little bit, you're just sort of keeping on top of it. Let's see. Hey, hey! Yeah, buddy. What I'll do this afternoon is just measure up for the curtains and then I'll go out and get them now. But first I might have a coffee because I haven't had one today and I've become a little bit but sort of properly addicted. I don't suppose that's good. The thing is, I'm too far down the rabbit hole now. So now, I might go and just see if I can find something. Just to hang over the curtains, just to make it a little... Um, I'm hoping it might even make it a bit warmer in here. I think there's a really good charity shop in this, in this town, Bollington. Joe and William have actually gone to a friend's house. We've made a friend. Because uh, because of the local library here, we go to the library and they, they do little clap and sing sessions for the kids. And uh, we've met some other parents, so it's really nice. Joe and William have gone over there to have a little cup of tea and a play session. So that's cool. That's something we kind of maybe get a little less of being on a boat, that kind of version of community where, you know, it's like, hey, come on over. So it's nice to have that a little bit here. Go across the road here and there's no real crossing. I'm gonna go for it. Thanks. Crossing roads is my uh, Achilles heel, maybe. It takes me ages to pluck up the nerve. But I'm kind of at the beginning of the town now, I guess. Um, I'm looking for the post office. I'm going to pick up a parcel for another boater who's at work today, so I can't pick it up himself, so I'm just going to go and pick it up for him. The charity shop was closed, which I really didn't think it would be, but I just saw a sign for a fabric shop. I think it's in this mill building. And that'd be so cool with, if I can get some fabric from there, because it used to be a cotton mill. So, I don't know, seems like an appropriate place to go and get some fabric. That's a cool shot, isn't it? That wasn't the right place. They're a bit more of like a big furniture maker. There was a, a guy in there upholstering a massive sofa, but he said that they don't really do curtains and um, they don't really do that kind of fabric or anything like that. But at least I got to see in the inside of that cool, it's quite a big workshop. But yeah, so I don't know what to do about the curtains. How are you guys? Great. Oh, William's been evening. chatting his face off. This is going to be um, lethal it's tomorrow, really isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 
Great. No. Seen any of them? He's been yeah talking about geese the whole time. Yeah, I bet. We went to see some sheep. You like that? Saw some tiny um, horses. Dead. Dead. He looks like he doesn't want to be there. Yeah, he looks like, you know, it's cold. Yeah. <laughs> He's not even really trying to look for fish. I still haven't done the curtains. This is the day they're arriving. This is the day that it becomes Holly the guest boat. Everything else looks nice, but I still haven't done the curtains. What I'm thinking for the curtains now, I'm just gonna use this old dust sheet. This is gonna be rustic. <laughs> but I'm hoping it's still gonna be charming. Uh, I've been too late with the curtains. I was midway through. Sorry? Just telling the people how I was getting on with your curtains until you came. All right. <laughs> Pleased with yourself? Relatively. I feel like... Yeah, it looks pretty... It looks a lot worse than the amount of effort I put in. <laughs> Let's put it that way. That's cool. Let's do these curtains. How many stars does your B&B have, Vic? I don't know, I think this all comes down to your rating, actually, so... You know. I'll let you know. Yeah. <laughs> this is looking great. Pretty translucent, those uh, curtains, <laughs> Vic. <laughs> I was going for rustic. We've certainly achieved them. <laughs> I think I probably would say a charming, rustic, uh, narrowboat getaway, yeah. nestled in the heart of Bollington. Well, I think it but looks beautiful, good, it? yeah, really good. Yes. <laughs> Morning, you alright? Come on in. How did the curtains help you sleep? How did they perform? I slept like an absolute log this morning or last night. And you just woke up. So, so curtains are pretty good. <laughs> <laughs>